Hello, I'm Joven Johnson. A Supreme Court judge will rule on October 13 whether Noel Maitland, the policeman accused of killing his girlfriend, Donnelly Donaldson, will be granted bail. The prosecution opposed bail during a hearing on Tuesday and detailed allegations against Mr. Maitland, including bloodstains being found on curtains and on a pair of sneakers inside his Chelsea Manor St. Andrew apartment. Jamaica Labour Party JLP councillor for the Trafalgar Division in St. Andrew, Kari Douglas, escaped being fined after she was found guilty of disorderly conduct based on an incident involving the police in 2020. The 36-year-old politician was admonished and discharged in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. 52-year-old pastor Michelle Roach of Content Garden Zocherias in St. Anne was stabbed to death Monday night during an alleged domestic dispute with a sibling. The police say the woman's brother is in custody. Garth Brown and 45-year-old Glenroy Denton, the two men seen in a video breaching the padlock of a floodgate in the Bogwalk Gorge in St. Catherine, have been charged. The two have been charged with malicious destruction of government property. Mr. Brown is also battling the offence of unauthorised entry into a restricted area. In sports, chartered accountant Dennis Chung, the man being eyed to succeed Dalton Wint as General Secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation, says he does not yet have an offer. Mr. Chung is due to leave his job as Chief Financial Officer at Supreme Ventures Limited, effective October 31. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $153.08, the British pound sterling for $173.45, and the Canadian dollar for $112.49. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers and thunderstorms across hilly areas and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Joven Johnson. Oh,